Welcome back to Daily Flash. More than 6 million Americans aged 65 and older are estimated to have Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's does not just affect a person's mental and physical well-being. It's also a major financial burden on families. Joining us now with more is the author of The Brain Reset, Seven Steps to a Healthier Brain, Dr. Spencer Zimmerman. Dr. Zimmerman, welcome back to Daily Flash. Great to see you. It's great to be here, and I'm excited to share with everyone how you can reduce your risk of Alzheimer's even if your parent or grandparent had it, it does not have to claim you as a victim. There's so much that you can do to control your future. Would you say men or women are more at risk of developing Alzheimer's? So two out of three diagnosed with Alzheimer's will be women. And what most people don't know is that the lifetime risk for women is actually much higher than that of even breast cancer. So one in five lifetime risk of Alzheimer's versus one in eight of breast cancer. So it's really important that everyone, especially females, knows about these five ways to reduce their risk. Yeah, let's talk about the signs that family or friends should look for that could possibly indicate the early onset of Alzheimer's. So with this being a brain-based issue, we really wanna start looking at things with memory. And don't focus on long-term memory. That really is confusing for people because there are those that are very progressed who still have their long-term memory. So are you forgetting your keys? Are you forgetting where you're going? Are you having to take much more notes than you've ever had to do in the past? Problems with word finding. And it's not just something that's, well, it's happening once every day, but it's now happening much more routinely. Those are all signs and symptoms that says maybe things aren't going right with the brain. Let's talk about the five things we can do to avoid Alzheimer's. Tell us about the first one on your list of the top five. You say reduce inflammation. Correct, you need to reduce inflammation. When we look at Alzheimer's, this is a chronic inflammatory based issue that ultimately develops over 20 to 30 years. So great ways to reduce inflammation is to get a great quality water filter for your house. Also use organic cleaning supplies, get rid of the industrial cleaners like the Ajax, the Pine Sol, the Windex, the Clorox, those industrial cleaning supplies can ultimately get into the body and into the brain, so just avoid them. And then don't use Roundup or other weed killers or pesticides in the garden. Don't use plastic in the consumption of food. Don't drink out of plastic water bottles, eat off of plastic plates, or use plastic forks. Plastic can get into the body and in the brain, and that's not a good thing. And it's amazing how much we use of it. You also say improve nutrition and improve or increase your sleep. Correct. So the second thing you want to do is improve your nutrition. I'm talking about a balanced diet with lots of healthy foods, right? So your vegetables, your fiber, your protein, and your good fats. And by all means, stop using processed foods and artificial sweeteners. Don't use them, okay? These create a lot of inflammation and don't consume anything with high fructose corn syrup in it. It is a big driver of inflammation, which isn't good for the health of your brain. You also say um, exercise and resolving emotional trauma. Those round out your list of top five. Correct. Yep. So with number three, you know, with sleep, sleep is one of those things we freely sacrifice, but we really shouldn't. Sleep really is all about timing. When you wake up, go outside, get in the sun. This helps your body to establish a rhythm. Also, don't eat anything three to four hours before bed as that can mess with your blood sugar and impact you from getting good sleep while make sure you shoot for seven to eight hours of sleep. When you sleep, that's when your brain and your body, it recovers and repairs, but also your brain removes most of the toxins and reduces inflammation during that time. Dr. Now Zimmerman, with, great information. We're just about out of time. We're gonna send folks to your website. This is where they can go to drspencerzimmerman.com for more information. And also check out Dr. Zimmerman's book, Brain Reset, Seven Steps to a Healthier Brain. We'll have this interview and more information on our website, dailyflashshow.com. Stay with us. We're back right after this.